as you follow your favorite sports team online or in person, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to this next conversation. I'm Brian Westbrook at GeekWire Studios here at AWS reInvent 2024, joined by two folks that really know the convergence of sports and data. Brian with Fan Capital and Jeff with Soft Acrylic. I want to have you both take an opportunity to introduce yourselves and tell us where you play into this picture. Thanks, yeah. Brian. I lead our data and analytics practice at Fan Capital, and we're working to disrupt the sports and entertainment industry by helping our clients have deeper relationships with their fans. I love that. That's what it's all about. And how do you bring some tools to the table? Yeah. So um, Jeff Ogren, I'm with Soft Acrylic, which is a Hexaware company. Um, we're a data and analytics focused consulting company, uh, mainly focused on the data engineering space as well as the marketing technology space. Um, I've been working with Fan Capital since 2021 um, on two focus areas really is data engineering on the AWS and AEP platform, as well as all the marketing technology platforms with Fan Capital. And Jeff, we'll stay with you. You mentioned the AWS technologies. Dive a little bit deeper. What technologies are you using and how are those helping in this space? Yeah, so we've built a pretty robust, robust fan identity graph is what we call it. Um, if you think about it, Fan Capital has multiple uh, athletes that are part of their platform and resolution, uh, identity resolution is very critical, right? Owning your own first party data is very critical. Um, so what we do is we build an identity graph on AWS Neptune. And what that allows us to do is take sources from our authentication platforms, all the digital properties, the mobile applications, right? And create a golden record of who that fan is. And we're able to leverage that golden record and create a nice view that we use from an activation perspective. So if you think about it, Jeff Ogren is a uh, fan of a certain brand, right? I visited the site this many times. I've downloaded the app. I drive this much revenue on a yearly basis, right? Giving that clean stitch customer profile allows us to take it to the activation platforms and really understand how to market to fan capital fans better, essentially. Fantastic, Brian, great name by the way. I want to talk about specific challenges in this space and how have you used some of the technologies that Jeff has outlined to help overcome those challenges? So again, I guess first off, Jeff keyed in on first party data and that, that's really key for us in terms of getting our clients to understand the value of first party data and how that helps them develop that one-to-one -one connection that they can have with their fans so that we can better communicate with the fans so that we can better personalize to the fans and we can just create better relationships with our fans. 99% of our fans don't necessarily touch our, our athletes and product. They don't go to the games. This is global sports sphere that we're talking about. And what we're trying to do is help those fans really feel like they're part of the game and they're part of the world and the athletes day to day life. So you're saying that by using data that you've collected, you talked about the identity graph, the sort of picture of this person, who this person, who this fan is, you can do, I mean, I don't know, you think about this, you think they're just trying to sell me more merch, they're trying to sell me more tickets to games. Is that what this is all about? No, this really isn't about that. We, again, want to develop a one-to-one -one relationship with you. We want to have you come to us. We want you to have content that is exciting for you. We want you to have experiences that are exciting for you. And we really want you to feel like you're part of the team and you're part of the world that is the sports world. A lot of different things going on here. Jeff, let's go back to the AWS connection here. We are at reInvent. We'd be remiss if we didn't talk about that relationship, that partnership. How are these technologies being used to solve the problems that Brian just outlined? Clark? Right, so, so what we do, if we think about the fan capital platform, uh, customer journey or fan journey is very, very important, right? So the way we kind of leverage it is to bring that golden record data into uh, Adobe Experience platform. And from there, we're able to have certain, what is the next best action, right, for that fan? Is it someone who has claimed a lot of badges but hasn't purchased, for instance, on that fan platform? you know, should we try to drive them to monetization, right? Or is it someone who comes to the site and plays a lot of games? We have a big gamification platform. What are some ways to either push them to the e-commerce place or get more engaged with the content on the website? So it's all, it's all about, like Brian mentioned, just keep that fan very engaged and it has to be data focused and data first. 
Brian, you're vice president of fan ad- analytics at Fan Capital, and that's an important role, but it, it doesn't matter if there's not success. Tell us about some of the wins that you've had, and if you pardon the sports reference there, uh, some of the, the times you've taken it across the goal line. Sure, no problem. So a lot of the, the sports world is just based upon the concept of coming for games or coming after games to see recaps and just to see highlights. We've really developed a robust gamification program where our fans are coming to us and engaging with us on a day-to-day basis. They look forward to getting their next badge and and going through their next experience and being part of our team and growing with, with our, our athletes as, as they go down, down their journeys and they continue down their, their sports zones. Jeff, anything I forgot to mention, anything I didn't chat with you about? No, I, I think one, one important point to this is where AWS has really allowed us to go, it's more that real time nature. Yeah. Um, if you think about it, we have you know race teams that have race weekends for Amstex, and that real time engagement with them is very important. So getting the fastest we can to that golden record and understanding who that customer is when they touch our mobile application or the website is so critical uh, during like real live events, essentially. That golden record is a win for the fans and hopefully a win for the teams on the court as well. Thank you so much, Jeff Ogren, Senior Director of Data Activation at Softcrylic, a Hexware company. And Brian, you are the Vice President of Fan Analytics at Fan Capital. Thank you so much for watching not only this segment, but for keeping track of your favorite sports teams as well. I'm Brian Westbrook, Keepwire Studios.